guys and gals, it's Steph with Chinese Garden, and I am outside today. It's a glorious day here, March 21st, 71 degrees. How about that? I am out here in the front landscape garden. I am going to come through and do some spring cleaning up, so pruning the hydrangeas, and I figured I would show you some of the signs of spring I'm seeing, such as my tulips and daffodils, so come along for the ride. Okay, here is this front garden bed flanking the driveway from the front and I want to come in here and show you something new I did this year right through here if you look closely you'll start to see some tulips popping through the soil so I planted a huge drift all the way through that little aisle in there and they are coming up which is so exciting if I get down low here you can see I'm popping through the soil there. And on this side, look at all of these tulips! I'm so excited, I can hardly stand it. And then as we walk in on the driveway, here's where the big show is under this service berry tree here. As we come down, I do a full circle of tulips leading out to the driveway. But boy, oh boy, are they starting to pop through. That's a good height to be able to see them. And I cannot wait. Now here's a nice wide shot of our property from across the street. And just imagine those drifts of tulips popping up in all four of those areas underneath these great, huge, very tall. Swamp white oak trees is what they are called and they are the gem of our property. 150 years old, our village ecologist estimates. And it's the beauty of the area we live in. We're in a woodland setting, but imagine the color under those big trees just popping out and all of those areas up front here, also with some daffodils as well that I'm trying for the first time this year too. So what I want to do is come through here and prune back the hydrangeas and that sweet pea that's still on that trellis and get everything cut back, especially this old grass here in front so my tulips get more sun. I leave all of this stuff up for winter interest. It gives us something to look at and some winter structure, which has been really nice. If you're a garden person, you usually crave something to look at in the winter. And sometimes the birds can feed off of some of those seed heads. So now is the time. I'm going to come in and cut all those back, and we'll see how it looks after. The biggest thing here doing all this cleanup and when I come in to mulch is I'm so worried about stepping on and crushing some of these tulips. They're all over here. But at least we can see them better, so I just do my best to tiptoe around those beauties. Then let's come in here and take this sweet pea off of this trellis here. And then lastly, I'm going to try and get through these hydrangeas and these sedum, which will take the most time. So here we go. There, it's kind of hard to see. I hope you can see it cut right above that. These hydrangeas were planted here before we bought the property, so I'm not exactly sure what variety they are, but I'm taking about a third of the plant down and pruning it that way, and they've done well. Now these I can come in and just take all the way down to the base of the plant. Easy peasy, don't even have to look for any nodes or anything. Okay, we made it. You can see over here, everything is chopped down or pruned back. Let's go to the back now because I want to show you some tulips that are actually even bigger than in the front. Woo! My back is feeling that. Need to get into gardening shape again. Oh, here's my seedlings I moved out last night. Getting some sun and some wind because it was so warm today. It would have been too warm in the greenhouse for them. So, 
They got some nice time outside today. Okay, here we're walking up to our back patio past my winter sewing, which I think was maybe a bust, by the way. But look at these beauties. Oh, hey, girls. Even all the way back here. I mean, look at that growth. Then onto the middle side as well. Gosh, I'm so excited. I threw these back here not really knowing if it'd work or not. I had a few last year, but not this many. And over here, I did this section in a video. I put some bulkar come in. Oh, somebody's been digging in there. That did not look exposed last time I checked. I'm going to have to put some rappel all out here. But there's green popping up. If I could give you any piece of advice for your spring things, such as tulips, especially tulips, or anything with a bulb, if you live in an area with any critters at all, especially like I do, we're in a woodland, so we have a ton of critters, use Repel All to help repel those animals away from your stuff. I have used it. It helps. A lot of my neighbors are absolutely amazed that I have bulbs that come up, especially in the quantity that I plant. So Repel All, I'll find a picture and put it on the screen for you. It's organic. It's safe for pets and kids. Highly, highly recommend. And I'm going to go do these right now. Last thing I want to show you here outside the greenhouse, that's my little heater I used to keep my ceilings warm last night. We've got my tulip pots out here. And this one is by far doing the best. See all those little tulips poking through the soil? These are the Carnival de Rio. That one looks excellent. And then we come to the rest. And you can see I've tried to protect them even more. But the soil's tossed up. Oh, there's one I haven't seen. A little itty bitty one. Maybe there's still hope. I just am not as confident in these. Look at those holes. I'm going to have to repel all of these again, too. So I'm hoping I get some. At least there's a couple in here. But you can see someone's been crawling around in there. These are the Temple. Oh, I forget the rest of that name. Temple, I want to say of doom, but I don't think that's it. Goodness. And in my cut flower bed. There's a grouping here. I think I just threw some in there. Oh my goodness! <gasps> They've been eaten! I haven't seen that! Someone came in and ate the tops right off of these! Oh boy. Okay, I really don't try to kill any of these critters. I promise. I don't do that. But I do want to repel all of these because I don't want them to get eaten. Those were not eaten last time I checked. I think my blood pressure is rising a little bit. That's a bummer! But it's okay. It's okay. You win some and you lose some. One more spot. I just remembered about tulips, which is my front entrance. Here's the front entrance here. And I have planted on both sides of this sidewalk here. But these have been slower to come up. You can see some are starting to poke through. And this is by far the most I've seen, which is not many at all. So I'm still hopeful. And I'm going to come back through with Repel All again. Doesn't look like they've really been eaten. So maybe these guys are just going to be slower. Let's check the other side. Yeah, especially on this side. I'm not seeing much action. And this is by far the side that gets more shade. There's a little bitty bitty one right there. Oh, and there's a bulb hanging out. A lot of the soil might have settled because this is the new side. So we'll just see what we get. It's the first time planting up here, and I'll know better what I can work with. But hopefully we get at least some, and when the weather's warmer, I'm going to pot those planters up with a beautiful spring display. And that'll do it for this video, everyone. That is how I'm spring pruning and cleaning up around here. Also an update on how my tulips and daffodils are coming along here in Zone 5B. I hope wherever you are, and especially if you're in a warmer climate, you're getting some blooms right now. Cannot wait till that comes to us. But please comment below and let me know what's going on in your gardens. I love to hear. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to follow along here with all things garden. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy planting.